Okay, Mickey, so we're just talking to everybody on the coaching team, getting the thoughts ahead of World Cup, which obviously starts tomorrow. Looking yeah. forward to the tournament? I am, to be honest with you. It's, uh, I'm not normally... A I don't normally get hugely excited over Six Nations and all the rest of it. I'll sit and watch it, but I don't really get myself too excited. But I think this one is, this World Cup's pretty, I think there's a lot of stuff at stake and there'll be some pretty interesting matches. So yeah, yeah I'm quite looking forward to it. Obviously you were about the squad when uh, England won it in 2003 and a certain fly half who played his trade out there was the, the one who did it. So what memories do you have about being around the, um, around Kingston Park at that time? Well, I remember playing London Irish it was either the day or the day after that the world that the final was on, yeah. and we sat and had bacon sandwiches and watched the game in the bar before we travelled down to London Irish. So well, it must have been the day after we. Yeah. Um, so I remember that, and then obviously I remember all the hype around it when we played Wasps and we had to bring Delalio and Wilkinson across the backfield because there was that much hype and stuff like that, and taking Wilkinson out of the changing rooms at Conno in a in a container because there was that many people trying to get. You know, so there was a lot of there was a lot of sort of hype in and around it, and it was it was good fun to be honest with you. And as scrum coach here, so what are you looking at in, the, in terms of the tournament? Is there anybody that people should be watching out as a particularly strong scrum? I know a lot was made of Georgia uh, in the build up to our game against them in Orvis. To be honest, we are just like watching what other people are doing, so it's quite interesting to watch you know, what, what certain guys are doing, how certain scrums and certain forward packs go about their business. And it, you know, sometimes I'll, I'll watch a game, but I'll possibly watch it in a different way than most people I'll be. You know, looking at all the scrums and line outs and tight exchanges and all of that type of stuff. And, you know, this obviously Dan Cole from an England point of view is sort of your model, your model what you want. And then, you know, the the, uh, the Franks guy from, from New Zealand, he's hits all the shapes that you want to hit really from a scrummaging point of view. Um, but no, it's pretty exciting. There's some, there's some good guys out there who, you know, who are good to watch. And have you got your tickets sort of for down the road? Um, well, I'm going to the. The South Africa game, I think it is, on the weekend of the Legends, but apart from that, I, I haven't really got time to go because with the stuff across here and the other stuff that I do, I haven't really got a weekend to go and watch, to go and watch the game, so it'll be, all my watching will be done on my settee. <laughs> so, I Get yourself comfortable and enjoy it. Yeah. And Legends, are you looking forward to having a trot out? Ah, it'll be good fun. I've never, I've never had a, had a run around for about 10, 12 months. Well, it would be about 10 months, so probably be stiff on the on the Saturday morning but no I'm quite looking forward to seeing a few of the lads. I was talking to Jason Oakes yesterday and you know it'll be nice seeing a few of the lads coming back and having a bit sort of crack with them and getting a run out on the pitch as well as sort of especially the weekend of the of the rugby, you know, the World Cup as well, being able to go down to the St James's and watch that and the full thing, not just the game but the full the full three or four days that are planned will be I think it'll be good for supporters but it'll be also good for the lads who are involved as well. And in terms of the overall honours who do you think is in the, uh, in the pro position for it? Well, uh, I mean, everyone would say New Zealand, but I don't know, I, I sort of quite fancy Australia. Like, I just think the way that they've, they've quietly went about their business over the last couple of years, and you know, they've had ups and downs and stuff like that, but I just think, you know, it's, just, it's quite a dry track. There's not going to be too many sort of boggy pitches and all the rest of it across here. It's, you know, it's, it's hopefully the weather's going to be decent, and I just, I don't know, I can just see them I can just see them doing it. I mean, that semi-final, which is probably going to be New Zealand and South Africa, is going to be a, a massive game. Um, but I don't know, I've just got a sneaky suspicion that it would be nice that if England could do it, but I've just got a sneaky suspicion that Australia could, could possibly pull it off.